you're 50% of your father and 50% of your mother, right? Uh, yeah, that's right, genetically speaking, because you will get half of your chromosomes from the father and half from the mother. That's if we want to count chromosomes. If we actually want to count genes, then it would be even more precise to say that it's completely correct for women or girls. Uh, they have 50% of the genes from the father, 50% from the mother. But for boys, since the Y chromosome doesn't contain many genes, we could argue that boys have slightly more genes from the mother as opposed to the father because they got the Y chromosome from the father, right? But yeah, of course the Y chromosome, even though it doesn't have many genes, it has a huge impact on someone, right? It returns someone male, right? 